So I'm not a golfer, but the dimples on a golf ball, well, they're quite interesting. And one of their functions is to break up the vortex of air that would otherwise be present with a smooth ball. And this in turn reduces the air resistance on the ball, which helps it fly farther in addition to the lift it provides. Science. Welcome to Machines and More. So unfortunately, we won't be doing any golfing today, but we will be checking out a fan that relies on the same principle. Geometric Future is a newer company and I have the Squama 2503 fan on hand. A big thanks to them for providing us with these samples today. It's a new design here. I'm not paid for this review by them though, and you can expect a fair and independent review. All right, so a little bit of fluid dynamics here. In many applications, when you have a fluid that's uh, going over a smooth surface, it might seem counterintuitive, but you can get what's called a laminar boundary layer. And that makes things, uh, you know, in plain terms, sticky or viscous, and it increases the resistance of the fluid going over that surface. Now, looking at some high-performance fans like this uh, Nocto NFA 12x25 here, well, you know, you'll see there's some texture or some grooves that are added uh, to the interface here. And what you're after in this type of scenario is a turbulent boundary layer. So adding things like this groove or dimples, and actually decreases the resistance. And so it's gonna provide more airflow in this case. So if you look at this fan here, this takes it to the next level. I mean, it is covered in dimples on the inside of the frame, All right? So this 2503 from Geometric Future, this is their 120 millimeter, I guess you would call it the performance oriented, minimal RGB design. It does have a layer of dimples that are shaped in uh, hexagons that runs the entire inside, the entire inner frame. Uh, this plastic is not injection molded. Rather, there's a th thin rubber pad uh, with these dimples that are applied to the inside. Otherwise, the blades, they're pretty similar to your average case fan. There's really nothing fancy going on here, like huge back sweep. It's not particularly thick either. Uh, they do have the dimples also applied to a little bit of the leading edges. If you look here at the NFA 12x25, it has a similar concept going on on the blades, but that's not on the leading edge, but you know, same idea. Other than that, vibration pads on the corners, rubber and a minimal wobble on the axle, so it's it's not bad. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see a new idea rather than just another play on the same heavy backswept uh, LCP 7 to 9 blade type of gentle typhoon design. Now, don't get me wrong, it works, but I think this is a little bit more outside the box and different. So how does it work? Tested here on a liquid cooling rad, this is the Hardware Labs GTS240 in the A4H2O custom loop. Looking here at the coolant temps with the 270 watt load, noise normalized here. First interval, it spins at about 1050 RPM against some of these other performance fans, well-known fans. You know, it's pretty close to the Lian Li P28, which is a pretty good fan, but otherwise the 2503 does trail most of these others by quite a big uh, margin at this interval. Next level is where this fan does a lot better. At 1550 RPM, it's really, really close to the NFA 12 by 25, half a degree. So not too shabby. And I think this is where this fan is at its best. Last noise normalized interval, 1800 RPM here. That's okay. Not particularly stellar, but yeah, there it is. Max on this is 2000 RPM. So the noise, it's not too bad. I think it was pleasant profile overall. Take a quick listen. So for a liquid cooling application, I'd prefer the lower end to be a bit more optimized. But you know, for what this is, uh, which feels and looks like a fairly entry level looking fan, if you discount the dimples, it's not too bad. I mean, the, the science here, I think it's doing something because you know designs like this it usually doesn't perform uh, that close to some of these other performance fans. I mean, the mid range is nipping at the knock to his heels. So I think this is very promising. Some other details, you got a daisy chainable cable here for the fan and also the RGB. If you want the RGB, you will have to use the longer adapter cable to go from your motherboard's five volt ARGB port to the fan. And then this can daisy chain between uh, as many fans as you like. 
it's really subtle. You know, if you have it on a radiator, one size can be covered, right? So you may not notice if it's not on. So that's, uh, you know, perfectly optional. So one thing I don't usually discuss is the smell of a fan, but these are noteworthy. So there is some kind of strange plasticky uh, rubber smell coming probably from the rubber liner here. And uh, that may go away, it may not go away. I think rubber tends to off gas throughout its lifetime. Uh, if you like the smell of new tires, you know, get these. Uh, I think most people might find that a bit troubling, especially when, you know, you're not sitting there sniffing the fans, but they're exhausting or intaking. So it, it's, it's pushing that smell out uh, into the uh, surrounding air. So maybe an issue for you. So maybe a different material could be worth considering. Black or white, three pack seems to be coming in at just under $50 US. So it's actually not a cheap fan. You could get the Lee & Lee P28 three pack for that price and uh, performance there's a little bit better. So if performance is a primary concern, I think that would be the better buy. However, if you are looking for something a bit different or maybe just something to deploy as a case fan, this design has a lot of potential. I don't think it's quite there yet, but it's pretty promising. Perhaps a little tweak to the blades, you know, maybe longer blades, maybe more sweep to move more air and kind of keep this, uh, you know, science going on. But you know, really not too bad for a first attempt here and it's pretty impressive. So I hope this is helpful. I'll leave links down below for you to check out if you're interested. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.